Hey, 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 everybody. Um, Nirvana Net on any and everything there is to have a handle to. Um, hey. Hey, what up? Introduce who? yourself. Yes, I'm Leilani Sanders, uh, aka Laylo the Top Notch Exclusive Redbone. Top Notch Redbone is my Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to play. Okay. Go crazy. Yeah. So. We just bless the bottle, so we'll show them how to bless it. Yeah. Simple. Thank you, God. She I mean, wait. Head. That's Thank okay. you, God, for life. You do head down. Yeah. Popping on your head, okay. Yeah. But God, God sees it. Every, God is always there. He, 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 there's no hiding from God. So it. I just always like to keep it 100 with God, whatever. But um, yeah. So do you want to do a shot? <laughs> I like to take a chaser after I. Yeah. Yeah. This is lemonade. Oh yeah. So, so we're um mm -hmm. gonna uh, do a drinking game. Yeah. Every yeah. show, we yeah, have so. a word of the day it's crazy yes so if we ever say crazy then we have to take a drink facts Today. and the stuff we're going to talk about is kind of crazy so i do because i did say it twice huh <laughs> dang he caught it <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna, I did say it twice on oh, accident. I'm so, gonna start with telling you how my uh, weekend was. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, it was Resurrection Sunday, it was. <laughs> Actually opens the bottle. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, normal. Got in school with my baby mama. Not really, cause we can't talk, but. Yeah. She weird. Yeah. But other than that, like, life is great. Yeah, I feel you, same. Like, really great yeah i mean it has its really up and ups and downs it's, it's like I, even when you're having a bad day you have to like remember i have bad years <laughs> yeah same <laughs> i'm like yeah i'm happy now yeah even yeah. though it's like a little pain in the chest but absolutely you're a scorpio it goes right away. i'm a cancer oh that, that's why that's why we're like this i'm a scorpio so we're we understand each yes. other but um we understand each other yeah no, you're <laughs> uh, po uh, cancers cancers are very positive you yeah, know what i mean always yeah, like you might go in your shell and retreat for a minute, but that's when you know we got we we're going through something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah. So my I feel like my my weekend was good. Um, I worked actually. I, I was bartending. Um, oh, yeah, oh, I got a fun job. Yeah, you know, it's one of my side hustles. Um, so that was fun. That was I actually love. I, I love the restaurant. Um, it's in North Hollywood. All that good stuff. Um, called Black House, but. Um, yeah, so other than that, I just went home, did laundry, went to sleep, tried to keep my mind right, tried to block out all the bullshit, you know, all the tox toxic toxicity or whatever, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, other than that, you know, when you, when you work shit out or when you go going through some bullshit or whatever, and then you just, like you said, you just think about the, how, how life is good, you know what I mean? And take a little... How is the bullshit, by the way? It's crazy. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm a <laughs> hella. Oh, um, I guess I. We could, no, we I'm trying. I'm to try, yeah, well, I'm trying to. I, I still have one to go. I'm. Um, it is. So, you know. So so now we're about to get into the topics in a minute. You. Yeah. You know what? I know about a, a, like the surface level of your ish. The your your bullshit. Right. And like it 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 brings me to the question: How long do you hold? your guy down if you know he gets locked up or yeah if things don't change if i'm, a, I'm getting warm about this like just, how long is there what is the definition of holding anybody down um i feel like okay because so my father was in and out of my jail my entire life and my mom literally held him down like she she <laughs> she didn't have she anyone rocked. else yeah she was she was just, it was just all about him so i feel like it really depends on the situation um, it depends on how long you guys been together. It depends on how faithful he was to you while you guys were together. And uh, if he took care of you, there's like a lot of different, um, you know, a lot of different reasons why I could understand someone kind of like, you know, having to let it go if yes. somebody gets locked up. And then I could understand when people want to just hold it down right. and not, not be with anyone else intimately or, you know, be with another man for years. I know some women that didn't, have sex or be with another man for a whole eight, nine years while their man was locked up, you know? So 
It just really depends on on the situation. Does it matter what he goes for? What you mean? Oh, 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 oh like, what he I'm goes for? I'm not about to hold you down for nothing. That's, that's true. It's some weird stuff people do. Yeah, you know, like... You go to jail for... <sighs> just because it's something I would be disgusted with, like... Some pedophile type stuff. I was thinking or, that too. Uh, if you were a child molest, for, first of all, if I found Weird? it, if I found out your no. child fucking molested a child, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a send a call for them to beat your ass in jail. Don't see me stop. But you know what I mean, like. Chad, <laughs> she said, I'm gonna send a call. I'm gonna first of all be mad at myself. I'm not even able to look myself in the mirror. Like, how in the fuck did I fuck with somebody that's a goddamn pedophile? Not only are you never gonna hear from me or get a box. I used to be but, selfish in relationships. Yeah, I used to say all the time, I'm not holding anybody down. I'm not a writer and yeah. I'm not a dyer. Yeah. Somebody got to let us tell a story and I don't want to get shot. So. But what about if you find out, like, let's say your man was taking care of you for years and years and, and that's he gets what changed my mind because that's what you know, my but husband did. You, you see what I'm saying? Oh, yes. And and let's say he gets, he gets, he gets, he's going to get sent, God forbid, but let's say he gets 10 years because on some federal shit, like on some yeah, money laundering. Yeah, just because you went to jail don't mean that you did whatever it is you're accused of. Right. You would hold him down, right? Of course. I feel like it's way easier for a woman to be celibate as opposed to a man. Like a woman could really not have sex with, with, with a man for years because I feel well, me personally because yeah, I'm you emotional. You can rub it out for years. It's definitely thank not a problem. you. I can. It's thank definitely you. not a problem. You, you, you ordered the pleasure the ple the pleasure chest. Well, yeah. I bought a hundred and sixty nine dollar motherfucking rose, vibrator. Right? I don't. I don't. I it's don't nothing. need dick. <laughs> it's nothing. I have the rolls. What? I don't need dick. I've never used a dildo. I don't need a dildo. I don't want a dildo. Why? Why would you want a dildo? Go get you an expensive L vibrator, and then you, you could you could hold it down. Especially if he held it down for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, now, however, <laughs> if the whole time he was toxic, or he you know he put his hands on you, or you know he was cheating on you, or he never was taking care of the kids, and all he, oh, he only needs you when he needs blessing. you. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that he's gone. Blessing no, for no, him, no. blessing for you. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like, you feel... <laughs> I sound rude as hell. <laughs> no, you sound real as hell. Yeah. Well, I look like holding you down when you couldn't hold me up. That part. At all. That part. Because, oh, you know, man. sometimes, not all men, because I'm not going to knock no. a good man, but there is some men that uh, use women or take advantage or... I call them homeless sexual. Home... Homeless, homeless sexual. sexual ass niggas. Oh, yeah. oh, couch surfing ass Hello? motherfuckers. Let me stop. Like, for real, like Maybe my kids on my couch because I said no last night. Right, <laughs> like I let you. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna reminisce back when I had my apartment, but uh, <laughs> you're about to. I'm not about to buy you no more Chipotle dinners. <laughs> No. You get Chipotle? It was churches yeah, for me. Like, uh-uh. I'm going to pick you up. I'm buying you Chipotle. I'm getting. I don't give a fuck if you get locked up. <sighs> now that I think about it. That's crazy. <laughs> no, it's real. I mean, at what point can you say no without having to explain yourself? You know my explanation. You know you ain't shit. You know you ain't shit right now. Right. They don't care though. But another big factor make too is, is the kids too. When if he wasn't good to you, he treated you like shit. Mm -hmm. But he was, you know, took care of his kid. He loved his kids. Like his kids was his, you know, his pride and joy, his his life. Would you take his children up there to go visit him? Um, if that's what... Like, if you couldn't stand him... Children. No, not you personally. I'm saying, like, in or a scenario. Our children, like, together. Y yes. Like, I'm, I'm saying, like, in a scenario, like, what, what would you do in a scenario if your husband treated you like shit, meaning, like, he, he cheated on you, he, 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 oh. he, 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 he was verbally abusive, all type of shit, but he was always there for the kids and everything. Would mm. you have the strength to be able to drive your kids up there to visit him so when you say it's always good to the kids and did and he, the kids want to go he, see daddy the kids want to see did daddy he say these things to me did he belittle me in front of the kids yeah pretty much oh yeah but okay. the kids still love him you know they want to see their daddy they want to see their daddy they want to go up there and visit him would you take your kids to go visit him it's psychological at this point it's almost as if i mean you don't i would never restrict a relationship I would more so ask his, their dad's side of the family to get more involved in order to take the children out there to see him. I'll because that. I don't, I mean, how would that make my son look at me as a woman mm -hmm. and my daughter look at how she's supposed to be as a woman? Mm -hmm. It'll make if, you look um, weak. I'm not supposed be like, to um, be here to make it easy on him. I can make it easier on my children, though. Right. 
with the support of him. It's, I mean, to the state of, I mean, you know, to the state of California, you go to court in the family court law. Mm -hmm. If if his family is doing for the children, then so is he. Right. And yeah, I, I, I would, would support that one hundred percent. But I would, I would totally want to stay out of it because I would look at it as uh, my get out of jail free card. Right. While you in jail, I'm getting out of jail. Right. I have time to regain control. Yeah. Peace of mind. So you would have a family member taking the kids. Yeah, up there his to family go see member. Him. His okay. family member. Yeah. And I know it would be a whole lot of, you know, a lot of times. People will probably look, okay, you'll be a whore if you don't hold them down. Right. Some men will look at, oh, you be, bitch, you scammer's ass bitch, and this and that. Like, what's the definition of a whore? Right. Because if I tell you off the rip, I'm not holding you down. Right. You couldn't hold me up. You I was abusive physically, mentally, yeah. emotionally, and I'm actually get, glad that we have this opportunity to right. separate. Mm -hmm. I, I'm that real. Right. And I'll let you know. Yeah, so... I feel like this is a blessing from God for me this time, because mm -hmm. you can't do anything about it. Like you can't whip my ass. What I'm gonna do? Stay now? Right, I don't right. have to. Right. But that's that's just that's just if the man was toxic. So to so just to be clear, if the man was toxic, fuck you. You're locked up. You're not getting no bail money. Right. You're not getting no box. Don't ask me for no tuna, keep your snacks, top ramen, none of that shit. Fuck you. Now, if you were a good man and you held it down, and I don't have kids, but if I had kids and you took care of my kids and and you was a good man to me, this and I will be celibate for you, baby, for for years. I don't give a fuck. I got that that motherfucking vibrator from ple Pleasure Chest. <laughs> okay. Not the dildo, the vibrator. You gotta go shopping. But, the, but, 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 but you were saying, like, what makes a whore a whore? Yeah. Because if I oh. tell you I'm mm -hmm. not going to hold you down. Mm -hmm. That's not a whore. That's, that's not a whore. But if I tell that's you I'm going to hold you down. Mm -hmm. What if my way of holding you down is being a pimp? What if I got the way with, I got the way with the words, the gift of the gab, and I sell salt to these snail niggas? And, and, it, and it, even if it kills them, they, they, they buying it. Mm. What if that's my talent? What if that's my gift? What if that's how I've been hustling before you and you changed the game for me? And then I feel like a woman with that mentality may not be truly happy within herself. No, yeah. of course not. Yeah. But is she not holding him down? If she's pimping, not giving her physical body up. I actually know somebody like this is what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Not physically giving her body up. 100% mm -hmm. loyal with her body. Mm -hmm. But her conversation sells. Hmm. And I'm saying that because I seen it, literally. Yeah. Niggas cry because she didn't want to deal with him no more. I don't know what the fuck is in but her. She never, but she never had sex with no. him. She refused. She let them know I got a nigga in jail that I'm holding down. Because some females are actually authentic and they That's have a soul and they're, and they're wifey material. And motherfuckers recognize that shit. And they're like, damn, I'll do anything to have Even that Even get your nigga in jail money. <laughs> yeah, like, damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. He ain't even no. smelling it though. Okay, look, 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 let me take I a guess. look. That's crazy. I'm gonna sit the chaser because I didn't say crazy. <laughs> oh, I. Oops. I need, I, I need to stop saying that I'm crazy. They're gonna be like, okay, I'm, I'm, look, I need to stop saying crazy. You know, crazy. you did two more. <laughs> Seven times. <laughs> oh my god. Look. <laughs> I'm sipping my shot, so it's okay. I'm not, you know. But you know what? I really want to hear from whoever has anything to say about what makes someone a whore. Mm hmm. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of guys said conversation with guys. I feel like um, a whore is, is, being, is, is a whore. Cheating. A whore is a woman that uses her pussy for money. That's what. It, that's it. That's the whole. De that's a definition of a whore. A whore well, in basketball. I sell it. I mean, said it best. Yes. Yeah. She's a hoe because she's selling her Gucci through the mail. Yeah. If you have, if you put a price tag on your it's pussy. It's ATM. <laughs> That that's some that's some whole whore shit, and I'm not knocking I'm not knocking anything. I'm not I'm not knocking you because I don't know what your struggle is. I don't know what you've been through, how your how how what your perspective is, how you were raised, what you you know what I mean. But um, or what you've been through. But if you if you are selling your pussy, that is considered a hoe. I was literally or a whore. I was just literally listening to the Tupac song. Like you wonder why they call you bitch. You wonder why that. That was like my theme song. You know, like I said, I'm not knocking anybody, any prostitutes out here. I feel like any prostitute or any whore needs counseling and 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 maybe God in their life or whatever. However, um, you know, if you're if you're if, now if you're a stripper and you know, because I have a lot of stripper homegirls. And you're not, you're not selling your pussy, but you're, you know, you're, you're selling the dream. You're selling the dream. You're selling the dream of getting this pussy. 
then I feel like strippers have a, a obviously a different type of respect. You know, there's some strippers that are going to college and shit like that. A lot of whores are lost mentally and spiritually. And then there's a lot of strippers that are actually really fucking smart. Some dancers out here that are smart as fuck. Those are, those, are the ones, those are the ones. Those are the ones that have a conversation, to make a motherfucker cry because they don't want to talk to them anymore. That's the one Drake be like, "You really don't have to do this." Right. <laughs> those are the ones that are like, "Leave him." Like, why? You... I'll leave her. I'll put a ring on it. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh. <laughs> I'm a you, babe. I'll, I'll never stop. I'll take care of you and your kids. Right. Like, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Use a lot. Yeah. Like, it's, it's easy to get a job out here. Like, please, please stop. I, I, I can go get w 2 real quick. I, just chill. I'm not going to do all this so you can pay my car. No, if you don't knock yeah, it the fuck out. Come on now. That's nice. nice. Now, if I love you and you want to pay my rent, what? that's cool. Whores will say, you hoes doing it wrong. Because <laughs> y'all get near not a dollar cents. And they get paid for selling sex, selling the dream, selling the idea. Yeah. It's frowned upon, but a whole lot of things are frowned upon. Smoking cigarettes are frowned upon. Yeah. But it's also the norm. Mm -hmm. Prostitution isn't the norm. I bet you if they legalize prostitution and call it a job, it'll start being normalized like marijuana. Mm. But mm. society has said, no, you can't, but that's, I mean, who brought this job to the forefront of a woman because that was never the an internet. idea. Exactly. The internet. Society, the internet, you know. The internet. Yeah. You see these 13 year olds doing these little I mean, dances. Shoot, it goes they got way back. Like, the oh, black oh, she's, Venus. She's still in you know? 23, 24. No, she's in eighth grade. That's just so like, I, it's crazy. Like, like I said, I don't have kids. I'm scared for, for, for the, for, you know, the kids future. and the, for the future because yeah. they, they're so, they have so much access and they're so advanced and so fast. Man. You know what I mean? Like, my, like, damn. It's just, it's. I mean, my kids teach me stuff on the, on it, like phone and the computer. I'm like, yeah. Come here. How do you um double this down and uh bounce it to this and do? I saw a two year old like this on his iPad, just swipe. Oh, downloading apps, like shit that you're supposed to pay for. Right. Downloading shit. I'm and, like, how did you get in there? Yeah. Don't you need my password? He telling me my password. Yeah. My nephew got his ass book because he downloaded four hundred dollars worth of games. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, if it's a dollar sign on there, you better not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, yeah. I, you know, I feel like we should still get deeper in that, like, you know, what makes a, a, a woman a whore. I feel like every woman naturally is born a goddess, is born a queen, you know, but when you let, when you, when you let um, an individual, like, completely warp your mind or the devil, or when you just you know, um, lose yourself or, or don't love yourself, you don't love yourself the way God loves you, you'll get lost and you'll start feeling like, you'll start losing your value, I feel like. You know what I mean? I feel like all women mentally have, have been in a weak place, yeah. you know, um, or in a, a confused place, a lost place. And so my heart actually goes out to women that like, you know, feel like they gotta men, sell their body. The thing about it is, I, I was raised with a lot of men. Yeah. Well, boys, same. guys, men. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and what we don't shed light to is that they go through a lot. Right. It's times where I, I mean, I feel like guys should automatically not care about certain things mm -hmm. just because you're a guy. And it's because of the guys that I came from. Right. I was raised by wolves. Right. But they were wolves because of the things that they had to go through and they had to keep it in. Right. Me, I could cry. Mm-hmm. I shoot. When I was young, I had to cry at a drop of a dime and oh, yeah, tears come out. So you a cancer, I'm a scorpio, Easy. I can do the same shit. Yes, yeah. I know what I need. Yeah. Uh, can yeah. I get it? Yeah. Easy. Them, they got punched in the chest for even trying to cry. Yeah. So. Now I hold back my tears or now, you, now you'll never see me cry. I'll be like, <laughs> mad as fuck. And, and then I'll go home, nobody sees me cry. I'll, only I knew their pain. Yeah. But like, um, Speaking of, I won't say which one, but uh, if if um, what do you think about open relation, open marriages? Um, <laughs> do you think the woman would be weak in that situation? Okay, so an open marriage meaning like the whole Jada Pickett and Will Smith thing where they're they're open. You said it. <laughs> okay, um, I feel like if you get married. If you get married, you guys are supposed to just be together. There's not supposed to be anybody else involved there's in that a relationship. There's a will, there's a way. Why was there you know? not a way? 
you know? <laughs> There's never, however, 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 you know those people that have had anniversaries for 35, 40 years, or been together for 15 years, you know, married or whatever for 15 years. Then the ones years. without social media. The, not only, yes! Social media will tear your shit apart, but not only that, they've gone through some shit and was able to patch it back up. If you're able to, like, not let anybody get you're not supposed to let anybody get in between your marriage that's why i don't believe in threesomes the moment you open that door to a threesome that all that energy that's is. gonna be his excuse i thought you was gonna no mm-hmm. no 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 yep, i've heard stories yeah get that threesome then he on the sideline calling out yeah what are you out. doing that was last because, night because you said it was but because you you thought that that you was gonna make it that's gonna make Girl, it tighter why man over here trying to that's gonna make the marriage tighter by letting yeah. this bitch in. No, like, and what makes you tighter is gaining will. I didn't mean to say bitch, will. but let this woman in. <laughs> uh, that's some bitch shit. Yeah, you know, that, to, I mean, you allowing it. Like, yeah. I don't do that <laughs> extra mar- pre, extra marital, none of that pre, extra. I don't care because yeah. before the marriage, you are committed. Right. Facts. What the? What wasn't that the point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, at least I a feel couple, like once you get a couple I, I, months or something. Yeah. Don't you have a commitment that you don't, you you ain't getting your mind ready? Yeah. Nah. Fuck that. I feel like if you get married, that's your that's who you're supposed to work it out with always. Always. Nothing for us without us. Right. It's nothing for us without us. That's right. what I always say. Like, how can you? Like, if you're like, in, taking a break, mm-hmm. inviting extras, mm-hmm. that, that's not us. Yeah. That's us and them. Right. That's for them. This is for us. Yeah. And right when you, I swear, when you the open the door, ladies, do not open the door. Keep everybody out of your marriage. That's all they say. D- yeah. Cause these motherfuckers already have a problem with cheating. So when you open that door that you're okay with motherfucker threesome, you're gonna really open that door. And then if you're a Scorpio like me, you're gonna wanna fucking. Uh, Hello. You <laughs> might get. You. Let me stop. If I don't see you to the dentist, then it's pro- if I don't see you to the grave, then it's probably the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nipsey, I didn't want to say too much. Hello. <laughs> okay. So uh, another question. Okay. What's the pettiest thing you've ever done in a relationship? Oh, oh, shit. Um, so the pettiest thing I ever done in a relationship was um, busted out some windows, got in the house, pretty much robbed all his shit, took everything. I thought oh, loaded my car up. I don't feel so crazy. Left. <laughs> and, and then, um, and then See, brought his shit back. And then brought all his shit back, like a nice person. But like I a nice person Gucci in the shoes end. shoes and all type of shit. Dior sweaters, all type of shit, but oh, I gave it all back. Love? Nice. You know? Yeah. And then and then another another petty thing that I did was um I I stole the car and I I, I, dro- I drove it way up in the mountains and parked that bitch and then and then left Uber back to my car. Oh. At least it wasn't Uber. And acted car. like his shit got stolen. But that I mean that was petty because if you don't understand this person used to do me kind of dirty, mm. dirty, 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 dirty. Oh. Like, I don't know if you had a strap put on oh, no, you that, but yeah, we, let's oh, not get what? too deep, but a, a, a move. Anybody ever pull out a move on you? Mm. It's that, that's that, that's that, that's that Chirac Chicago shit. Let me what stop. What the heck? Yeah, don't date nobody from you Chicago. You wanna kill me? We I'm can't do this no more. I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm like, oh, 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 I thought you love me. You blessing, shorty. Coming to the LOL smiley faces. Damn. You tweaking, shorty. No, you tweaking. <laughs> the fuck? I didn't mean to fall through your sliding glass door. I was drunk, but damn. You got your Netflix under that bitch neck, but small <laughs> petty shit. Uh, what? Small petty shit. That's crazy. I, I that, that was uh, petty uh, shit. Uh, what, what'd you say? Ah, uh, that's crazy. You were all right. Yeah, I love how, like, I'm over here sweating. I have hyperhidrosis, so I if you see me on forehead glistening, before. it's because I sweat a lot. They don't call, they, they used to call me, uh, before <laughs> it was Nirvana Net, I was Petty Netty. I'm sorry. I was, they used to call me big and dangerous in, in middle school, and I used to hate that shit. Petty. I did this shit that I didn't even know was petty in a relationship. I um, found out about... You gotta take a little sip after you said crazy, remember? I said it again? Your, Dang. No, no, earlier. Mm. But you didn't take your sip, and then you got your chaser right there. So, and you just said it down. <laughs> <laughs> So, I found out about a mistress. Mm. Easy. I do this. I'm better than a... Right. She's like, I'm a whole I always, I always find Waldo. Right. <laughs> Let a nigga know. I always find Waldo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I found out. And you're not in jail. I salute you. Right. Yeah. Exactly. 
like, <laughs> you know, emotional gangsters we are. Yeah. I told her it's very disrespectful mm -hmm. to my relationship and my family, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, you must be, she called me the ex. I said, oh, and you must not have no idea. I took a picture of the address in which the box came in mm -hmm. because that was what I told her. I'm drawing the line. What is this? Right. She sent a care package. I said, you got my address. Yeah. <laughs> Just understand, this is our address. Yeah. And I have yours. I sent that to her. Yeah. I burned the ugly-ass clothes she sent on the barbecue grill, recorded it, sent it to her. Then I sent it to his mom because he's a mama's boy. I love mama's boys. But I still want her to know the real story. Right. So you're going to hear my side because I know he's going to call you. Mm-hmm. Instantly. I already know. So before we start talking about the situation, I just want to sing something. That's from Boop Boop Loop. And she did this. I told her to stop and she wouldn't. So mama, call your son. It was petty, but I didn't know it was petty. Not at the time, because that was just my natural self. Right. But naturally, I'm not hiding no parts of the story. I recorded it so I could show you. But I want you to know what happened. Oh yeah, you nice, nice. <laughs> I did it real nice. <laughs> she ladylike and classy. Yeah, I just wanted to explain she, it. You can say she drinks, she drinks her wine. Everything. She drinks her wine like this. I'm the person you say did some. Come here. You said I did it. Come here. Now say it now, cause yeah. I got pictures of this day. I'm that person. No, I'm the evidence. I'm the court. I, <laughs> now, I wouldn't even have said shit right, right when I knew I had her address. I would have been parked over there around 9, 10 o'clock. No, nah, it was in a different state. Uh, I couldn't uh, hopscotch Oh, uh, damn. I would, Spirit. See, Sound when you have kids, I'm going to catch her. I'm going to catch her. She flights. <laughs> she flights. Spirit Airline. I don't give a fuck. My knees will be hurting. I don't give, I don't give a fuck. My knees are going to be hurting the whole She's flight. Vegas. Why y'all? I'll okay. catch the spirit flight to that bitch real quick. Real quick. Uh, what's the other one? There's another one. Um, damn, there's another one that I had before that made me. What's the other one? Not spirit, but there's a one worse than that. Uh, but uh. Damn. What is it? Blue what? Frontier. Fr fr frontier. No, it's not, no, not frontier. It's even the worst one. Is it Jet Blue? No, it, Jet Blue's good, right? It's like the Greyhound of planes, but. Oh damn. <laughs> Southwest do be fucking up. Southwest be fucking up every no, time. No, Southwest is cool. The show is that fucked by Spirit. Southwest <laughs> is cool. Shit, I'll take a road trip to that bit. Actually, no, the gas. Never mind. So it, It's Spirit. Right. Yeah. Okay, let me take my shot. Oh, yeah. I, take, look, I, I look. believe you have another shot, but I'm not I'm not going to... Uh, no, but okay, you know what? I'm going to take one with you because it's crazy that you didn't fly, <laughs> you didn't fly out there real quick. I'm going to do a half Right. Ride. Hella crazy. Go ahead and fill me up. I'm gonna do a little well, half Why you doing that? I'm gonna leave everybody with a cliffhanger. Good question. Is it ever okay to date your deceased or ex partner's friend slash relative? Yes or no? What do you think? So again, it really depends on the the history. So if you okay, so let's say the okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use okay. So if a woman and a man are together, right? And then he passes away and she's at his funeral and his brother's there and, and they find comfort within each other and, and they, they very I, I, naturally, I, I, very naturally I, I feel like that's kind of like almost natural and, and a, it's, it's comforting. It's they may not even really end it, up being it together. It be psychological because that's a piece of him. Exactly. And you exactly. not it, 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 you're holding it, on to Right. That. You know what I mean? Now, if she's cheated on her man before with his brother type, you know, type shit, then obviously right. she's scared. Yeah, sure. You that. know what I mean? Or if it's a friend, let's say it's a, let's say it's a woman and a man and, um, you know, he passes away and, uh, what if his best friend was a female and he never knew she was gay? Oh, then that's all love. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That is so disrespectful. No, it's not. He would, he would probably be okay with that. He would probably bless that from heaven. No, he probably would. Because he would not, not trip off of that. His brother. I think so. <laughs> see, and he would have to know his brother's heart. Like, either, he, if he was like this with his brother, like, that was his dog. Like, like, and he knows how brokenhearted she's sick and this and that. And the, and the brother's sick. And they, oh, yeah. okay, you know, it's, it might be a beautiful thing. You know, like, not like that, but... And you know, and then and then, but then, see, not if they got a big family and it's a bunch of haters and yeah, shit, but it's throwing their salt in the in the relationship or whatever. But but if it's like, and it really depends on how he died too. Like if he was 
you know, if he died in, died in his sleep, right. then it's kind of like, just let him rest. You don't got to get with his brother. But if it was like he was cut up in pieces and it, if he got yeah, fucking we're adults, fucked we can up control our emotions. and she sees something in his brother, like she, she needs to be comforted. You know what I mean? Like depends on, it depends, you know, right. it That's depends. True. That's true. Goodness, that's a deep one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go to a break. Let's go to a little break, yes. Because I need to, yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> Casey, y'all, that's the producer. Like Jay, okay. That's your or something. Who's Jay? Wait a minute. Uh, since <laughs> Chris Rock is not suing Who's Will Jay? Smith for $30 million, I'm not mad at him for saying he's not gonna talk about it until unless he gets paid. Man, fuck that. Get paid by Will Smith. You got me fucking. I'm about to take a GoFundMe to get that nigga Chris Rock right here on his couch. Wait a minute. Can I? Can we? Let's just rewind Period. back to the Oscars, okay? First of all, um, Will Smith has done stand-up comedy, right? He knows right. what it is when you do st right. stand-up comedy, period, whatever, whatever. I don't know if Jada has him under a trance or what, but Chris Rock is hosting the Oscars, you know he has a script, right? That that motherfucking G.I. Jane joke was a compliment to that lady. And it was a setup. G.I. Jane is a strong like, hero. Yes, pick me. <laughs> pick my bald-headed ass. And I, I was raised with bald-headed women. Okay. It was too hot for that hair shit. They wait a minute, like wait a minute. If she, if she wanted to borrow one of uh, Beyonce's lace fronts, she could have. She chose not to. Hello, somebody. She chose not to, but it's not I like he it. said that you look like a cone head, a cone head without the cone, or you bald headed ass. <laughs> he didn't say nothing like that. He said, Mrs. G.I. Jane, I'm going to see that in the next movie. Not only did he compliment her and say she was a strong right. woman, because G.I. Jane right. is this fucking soldier, Big but he said, you going to be in another movie. You, you know? And she, and she looked, she, and, and even Will was laughing. And then right when he looked over, she she wasn't Oops. laughing. Oops. Will gets up and, no, and, 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 and so Chris Rock, he already, he already, like when he talks, his, his, his mouth is already so kind of like, kind of crooked. Where he, he slapped the shit out, he slapped the shit out of Chris fucking Rock. And Chris Rock must not, he doesn't have no sisters. Because if he had some sisters in the audience, it's I would have slapped the shit out of Jada. Like no, no, let me stop. I'm for real. I would have been like, fuck you and your kids, nigga. No, but let me stop. Okay, I, I'm sorry. But What's the name? What's the name? Tony Rock, his brother? Tony Rock is his brother. And he is a very nice guy. He got up there and, uh, uh, right after saying, nigga, it's Tupac. I'm on Tupac all, all year. Because he's like, you gonna, you gonna slap my brother? Over a bitch. But you know what I would have did? Right when right, right when Will Smith turned around and was laughing, walking off, I would have dropped the mic on the back of his motherfucking head. And that's what uh, and, 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 and he probably would have had two or three stitches. You know what I mean? And then the ambulance would have came and they would literally they would have they would have banned me too for ten years. Uh, we would have both been banned for two for motherfucking yeah. ten years or whatever. You would have had my shoe print on your back for ten years. Yeah, they just I would have spotted his ass on three hundred, you know, three hundred. Oh, this you is spotting. Are oh, you real safe? I would've, I would've, I would've, man, I would've. He would've did that shit in West Philly. Period. But, but Chris Rock is a professional. He said, why? He, he was so professional, they thought it was scripted. I did too, everybody did, yes. I did too, I said, wait, wait, did I? But then I knew it was real when, they, when I looked at Will Smith, he was like. He, my, my wife. You know, I was like, oh, they're bleeping I, out, cussing out. I literally felt for Chris, I mean, I'm not Chris, uh, Chris Rock, yeah. Yeah. For uh, Will Smith at that moment. He's like, you gonna keep my wife name out your mouth, but your wife's sitting there. Me, as a wife now, I would have definitely, knowing what's on the platter, nigga, that's home. I would have been like, oh, pause. I wouldn't have been, I, even if I was affected and offended by it, I would have been a, whatever, it ain't funny to me. But when I saw you waking up, I mean, um, raising up to get up out of your seat, my she, arm, I would have. Thank you. I would, if she really loves that man, she should be like, baby, 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 sit down. It's, it's, a, it's a G.I. Jane joke. He ain't listen to nobody. You know I like being bald headed. Right. You know, you know I got money for lace first, but I want to be bald. I've been bald headed since I was You know when you're bald. Shame. You know when you're bald headed. First of all, I want a lace front, Nick but I don't want a couple hair bald. Don't even remember bald, her with hair. Bald heads look bad. When you have a bald head, when the lace front looks Lair, so lay. It was magical. When you bald headed, the lace front looks laid, That's baby. Fuck. You gotta wear. She could go get her shit laid if she wants to. She wants to be bald headed, and it's nothing wrong with being bald headed. Don't pay for hair implants. She looked like motherfucking Black Panther, like motherfucking Jane Jane. Super the fuck was she so mad at? She has alopecia. She has no hair. She shaved her shit all off. Patch is gone because, she, and, but she wears the confidence of a motherfucking wife to Mansa Musa. 
Like, there is no way you can tell her anything besides other than what she believes. And I really, really love that about but her. But you know that Willow Smith don't give a fuck about her daddy because she's writing <laughs> letters to Tupac. <laughs> I'm confused about that. <laughs> I'm really confused about that. that so part. so you want your daddy, so you wanted your daddy to, 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 sock, to, to sock Chris Rock, huh? Man, everybody's supposed to be married to Tupac. You wanted, you wanted Chris Rock to get his teeth knocked out. It's mad niggas out here that wouldn't have wives if it wasn't for Tupac being gone. This girl said, Dear Tupac, I know you're still living, and I know you can come back. Please come, because my mom misses you. That is exactly what I meant by me bringing my children to a facility like jail to visit their father, knowing the, the circumstance. They, they, I was a child. You know, I thought I was a super thinker. So I, I know children think about things and they and because they have to have something to blame. They're too logical to be emotional about things before they learn how to use emotion. So when it wouldn't comes it have been to funny it, if Chris Rock would have took the mic like this and cocked off no! the back and went, you get what I'm saying? Boom! Right when he was walking off and then, and, and then Will was like, oh, shit. But, yeah! And then, they, and then, cause you know, Will Smith probably don't know how to fight fight. You know what I mean? Like, you not about to walk on stage. I'm I mean, just about to say, I'm, I don't give a fuck if you say I'm ghetto, wretch. You not about to walk on stage. It's tax season. Oh, okay. today's the last day, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> tax season. Slap the fuck out of me. I gotta take that shit and see you and your back as you walk off. Cha-ching. Motherfucker, for what? You could have controlled your emotion, and because you couldn't, I can control your money, nigga. Period. Cause I didn't get since since I didn't beat your ass. You and your I'm wife beat your ass because she didn't in court. I bet oh, you if oh. it was a bitch saying, "Hey, Will, come let me suck your dick on stage," that arm would have stretched wide. Like Why? she was Jesus Christ saving the world. Period. No, but see, Why I, I just, I just don't like how she, was, she was, was so offended. She was so offended. It's so yeah, offended. Yeah, but your pride gotta get out the way. Joke. When you just mad but you and your daughter, bitches, but you and your daughter is bald headed. But you so offended about Willow, the GI Jane joke. Willow, cut her shit off. Bitch, I get a wig, both of you. Mom, what stop. do you think about me? I cut my hair off. Well, I'm offended because I ain't got none. You could get any wig you want to. Any silky. It, I'm a, I, I mean, it was in the moment, and I know that's why she reacted the way she reacted. I would have been pissed off too. Nigga, I'm bald headed, and I don't got a choice. I wouldn't have been Before pissed I off. I cut my shit because my I husband is a comedian. My husband is a comedian, and Chris Rock is a comedian. I wouldn't have been As pissed off. Why is that bitch so mad? He, should, he knew better, but he didn't. She's do the better. one that cheated. He knew better, but he didn't do better. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to call Jay to pick it a bitch. I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's the fucking tequila. <laughs> but I feel for Chris Rock. Her like, mama, why? She all right? She can call a bitch a bitch. Well, my mom? Yeah. Your mom white, right? Yeah, my mom was white. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They ain't gonna take offense to it. Shit, yeah. my mom is white. That means I can say cracker, too. Mm-hmm. Shit, shit. You, you can say cracker. I can say honky, can donkey, say cracker. White yeah. motherfucker. Do you, you know say nigga? I say nigga all the time. Hey, my nigga. nigga. You a nigga. Yeah, nigga. I swear to God, if we go back to slavery, you a nigga. I swear to God, if I was slavery, I'd be all like, baby. no, you a house. That's no, bitch, I'm getting the tan. I don't want to be in this house with you ugly motherfuckers that can't even. No, you got to be in the house. We need stuff from the house. I don't give a fuck. I want to be outside with all them fine ass niggas. I'm just let me stop. I'm going to take her place. My boyfriend's going to get mad. My boyfriend's going to get mad at that stupid ass I'm going to do what Jada do and take her place. Can I get that roll? No, I'm about to be outside getting a tan, period. With a brown paper bag. Can I get the roll? I mean, I'd be, I'd be like Harriet Tubman. I'd be the light-skinned Harriet Tubman. Oh, I would have been out there fucking like the headless horseman. They would have been like, that's all crazy, bitch. She's out here cutting people off the heads off and shit. Yeah, like, kill she me. Kill me now. I would have been hiding in the trees, like <laughs> fucked up in the head. Like, Katniss, y'all didn't know it was in me, huh? Bow and yeah, arrow. Yeah, bow and arrow. I created this. Shit, I would have been, I would have been a murderer back then, man. Who the fuck is you whipping in my family? Oh, oh no. So I feel like, so I look, sweet. And and like, that, that's like Jesus' spicy. disciples. You know Jesus' disciples? <laughs> Yeah. You're such a cancer, shit. That's why I love you. you, you, you okay, look. You I know Jesus' it. disciples, right? You know Peter? Yeah, they all gangsters. Peter, Peter was Peter was chopping niggas' ears off when they tried to arrest Jesus. Stop chop. He yes. And what did Jesus do? Heal, healing ears. But Peter was chopping off ears. Stop fucking with Don't his ears. Don't worry people. about it. I'ma heal it. Stop and he was a disciple. I feel like if I was that, me and That's me and Peter got a lot in common. Not to say I chopped nobody's ear off, but you you wouldn't you wasn't about to kill Jesus in front of me. I would have stopped. I would have fucked the whole history up. Shoot Baron Oak. Rock, paper, scissors, nigga. <laughs> Jesus would have been saved. Like, what are you doing? It's not supposed to be. Come on, Jesus. He's on the back of my donkey. He's like, let me go. It's okay. You can save him. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Jesus. 
the royal, the royal, the, the royal holy is clean, your highness. You're not about to fuck Holmes. with Jesus. Shit. Let me stop. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sounds like blasphemy, but it's real. I, I would have had Jesus' back. You're not, you, you're not about to crucify the homie in front of me. I'm sorry. You're not about to crucify the homie in front of me, Period. Yes. Not, 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 the, not the son of God. We're all children of God. He was just trying to make it known. He was just trying to let, let everybody know we're all the children of God. And they, they still kill them. Like, goddamn. Like, yeah, let your, ha your saha breathe us out. <laughs> Can we talk about Brittany Griner? Who? Brittany Griner. So she, you know, Brittany Griner's the, the, the basketball player that's still locked up in a high security in because Russia she, over a vape yeah. pen, but Putin is allowed to blow up children's hospitals out there, but for a vape mm. pen, she's in a high security jail. But, mm. but Putin's able to blow up hospitals, so, but he's not in jail, though. I'm sorry, can you uh, enlighten me on... Brittany Griner? Uh, no, no, no. The um, ethnic background of... Putin. Poo poo. Poo poo head. Poo poo. Poo poo. Putin. He is the, 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 the president of Russia. He's been like the president of Russia for like 20 Russian. years. Ding, ding, like 20 ding, years. Ding. Oh, she's like, yes. I don't watch the news. I don't, I don't watch no, 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 negativity. No. no, no, I'm bringing light to the differences. Yeah. She's an African-American female? Yes, yeah, she is. WNBA, one of the highest paid basketball players. I really don't expect them to do more because of the level on the hierarchy in which we are as black women. And um, I don't expect them to do less with poo poo head. Ooh, I and that's the fucked up situation that we really live in. in Wait, why did I post? Why did I, po I, I posted a, a comment on? I posted a comment on some page on Instagram. I said, I said, I wish Jesus would come down in a natural, <laughs> look, I said, in a natural disaster will take Putin and, and throw him, what what I say? I said, I, I wish he could get sucked into a tornado and disappear or something I said, and then Instagram sent me a message like, I'm you about we're about to de your delete your shit. Like your shit when is gonna happened, get canceled. Don't be if surprised you surprised because your energy is real. Oh, all I was hoping is a natural disaster kill that motherfucker. I was just hoping he get it. karma, cause karma. I'm sorry, I, and she looking out for me. I'm not wishing death on nobody. I'm no. just wishing that a tornado or a I'm tsunami. I'm wishing the same thing you put off on others. Okay. Y yes, blowing up children's so. hospitals. Like why, 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 why haven't they? Uh, why haven't they? Um, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Remember what they did to Martin Luther King and John to, Kennedy? Why didn't they? Um, to a equal opportunity at the round table. Yes, uncensored LA, baby. Yeah, uncensored LA. I'm, all day. I, I'm uncensored, and I, I want Putin to be. A, I'm not gonna even say it. Hello. <laughs> Ukraine all day, and I'm not even Ukrainian, but I'm half white, and I might have some Ukrainian in me if I did some ancestry.com. Like, damn. Think it, think it sound like a flow to me. Damn. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else. Let's see what else in this uh, motherfucker. Damn. Oh, yes. Um, okay, so hold on. Shout out to DJ K Slay. Um, oh, RIP. Yes, RIP. I, I know he is a legend. He passed away at 55 years old. He's very an ultimate young. legend. That's way yes. too young. Yes. Way too we'll young. We'll give him a moment of silence. Yes. That ass. Okay, so I'm hungry. <laughs> oh yeah, you know I just had some my player local. I fucked up that, that double chicken. Bowl. See, I don't want anything. I'm so tired of takeout. What do you do? What do you do? Shit, that was. I a mean, takeout. no, that like was I know, I know <laughs> that part. That's why I said. That's why I was like, like, What do you do? Would you prefer takeout or cook? I mean, cook. the lazy, the lazy in me always say takeout. Cook, cook. But it has to be. And and the thing about it is, when I say takeout, mm -hmm. my husband be like. Why don't you just cook? It's cheaper home. <laughs> yeah, not even That's that. That's the type of takeout I like. It's healthier. It's healthier. Exactly. Even if you make, I'm even if you make it for dirty rice or some fucking fucking eggs or rice or whatever, you gotta make a you know uh, exactly a, a one of them. You know some in, anything from home that you gotta just kind of you know that it's cook not is better than fast a food. trademark type of meat. <laughs> right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about jail food. I'm like, so I'm, I'm talking about some. Why don't you just make some top ramen and throw some tuna in that motherfucker and some, some right. eggs? You could call that pasta. Uh, uh, crab pasta. That's, that's that ramen gourmet shit. But yes, yeah. that it was only $4. You put that. Just don't put the uh, Subway tuna in mine. I'm, I was raised oh, off spreads. Yes. Not raised, but like as I became a certain age before I knew how to cook, and that's what really made me learn how to cook. Yeah. That's why I choose cooked 
food other than takeout. Wait, because so, I learned. So you're right about the Subway tuna though. Why is this so? It's no tuna in it. I don't know if anybody has has known. Uh, but for a while, people has known uh, have known that there's no tuna, no fish at all in that spread. In the tuna. I used to be like, I used to be like, can I get it? I used to be like thinking that they were sending like, excuse me, can I get some more tuna, please? No, it's not I still want some more of that. Well, you want some shit. of what we ain't got. <laughs> right. No, it's not tuna. And there's no fish in it. It's kind of all, as artificial as that Jared guy. You're like, are you sure you want another scoop? All right. That's now, it. Now, so the younger the child, the better. Why is he not in jail? Why is a uh, Russian, uh, Russian black queen over here in jail over a suffering? And this nigga saying. Because well, this is the devil's even. playground. We live in the devil's playground. We period. in hell already. And you know, there's only a small percentage of us that are called to that, that, that actually believe in God and that actually have souls and, and have empathy and compassion. You see, you, what, first of all, let's talk about, let's talk about Patrick. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, but it starts with an L. Patrick Loyal, is it Loyola? Lola, Lola, some man. Who is he? The African man that was from Detroit that got his head blown off by a racist cop, pretty much. They were been in the block, following him around in circles. He was just in, a, in an Altima, but he had paper plates. So of course they're fucking with him. So when they pull him over, he steps out, but he he doesn't do anything. He doesn't have nothing on him. He's just like, what do I do? Like, why you guys? Because they were on his ass for like five minutes. So he steps Did they out. Have the, they're like, Get, the, no, no. The they, red lights no, on him? No, I don't, not that I know of. Not, I didn't hear no weird sirens. They were just following behind him, following behind him, right? So he gets okay, out and he's like, purpose. what do I do? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Patrick Loyola. Loyola? Uh, Loyola? So when I saw this video, I was, first of all, the George Floyd, everything that I, that's any type of police officer killing an unarmed black man, it makes me like, it, it like makes me very angry. Like so angry to where I want to give son. the, I, I, I believe in the death penalty for brothers. those cops. <laughs> He's on unpaid leave with no charges against him. You didn't see the video? They're chasing him. Oh, this happened about a week ago, okay? About two weeks ago at the max. They're chasing him around the corner. So then they, he, he gets, he, steps, he he pulls his autumn over. He steps out. He's like, what did I do? What did I do? He has an accent. So the cop's like, get back in the car. Get back in the car. So you're gonna, and he's just standing there with the door wide open. Like, what did I do though? What did I do? Like his hands are out. The, he, the cop walks up to him and he's like, do you speak English? Like trying to belittle him with this, with this, with his, he, he but hears is that African like his accent. language though? Because he, he literally said like this. Sign, I video. wouldn't be able to read that. Do you speak English? <laughs> That's how he did it. Like you, you ignorant son of a gun. So I'm like, and okay. Man, you're crazy on a different. The guy's like, yes. Hell. He's like, get your license, get your license, and he's like this. It's right there. Cause you know, black people, we have PTSD like, fucking shit. with the police. Go ahead and get it yourself. It's yeah. right there. I'll explain it in words. Especially in like Detroit and Alabama and North Carolina and, and, and Florida and shit, like these racist ass places. People have PTSD fucking with these police. So he's all like, it's right there, it's right there. He's like, get it from me, get it from me. He's like, it's right there. All of a sudden oh, the cop just starts it. grabbing on him. So he's like, what are you doing? Like, what, the, what are you doing? Like, he, that man could have been a lawyer or a fucking worked for Congress. He don't know what the fuck he is just because he's in an in Altima. In yeah, but he's he, literally, he's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So now the cop is kind of like chasing around. Now he kind of like ran from him because he's scared. Like, dead ass. And, and he, the, 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 the cops are chasing him around the lawn, hops on his back, and starts tasing him. Have you ever been tased before? I've been tased before. I didn't even accidentally tase myself and I play with it too much. <laughs> the, he, he was trying to grab the gun. He was like, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? He's grabbing the gun. The, the guy goes like this, he's on top of his back, knowing that the cop has the cop has the, the upper hand. He's on his back, it's on, on video. He's like, what are you doing to me? What are you trying to stop the, from getting electrocuted? The cop grabs the back of his gun and this is his excuse. Let go of the taser, let go of the taser. Bitch, if you're so scared of him tasing you, bitch, pull out your fucking mace or something. You're on top of him. You could have pistol with him in the back of his head because you're on his back. But what does he do? He, pull, he grabs his gun, close range. Put the gun at the back of his head and shot, blew his head the off. Back? 26 year old man. The back of his head, as he had him on the floor on his back, shot him in the back of his head. Blew his head off because on he camera. Didn't tase him. And then, and then, and then he felt stupid and he was like, Back away, back away. There's not even nobody around. There are people just recording. And then he shot him in the back of his head. First of all, I don't care if he grabbed your taser. You should have grabbed your fucking mace. Because then you could have just maced him close range in the face. He wouldn't be able then, to then he would have been rolling around. You really could have put his hands he around him. No your control. pride, his pride, that white man's pride was fucked up because this black man is physically stronger than you and you can't get his hands behind his back. You're trying to get his hands behind his back so bad. He's unarmed. You don't shoot anybody when they're unarmed. He's resisting arrest. You don't shoot anybody when they're resisting arrest. He was running. You don't shoot anybody because they're running. 
You trained stupid ass pig. You're supposed to use the other shit on your belt. The only time you pull out a gun is if they have a fucking gun. Or if he was on top of you tasing you in the face <laughs> or some shit, shoot his ass in the leg. He wanted to kill that man. Amazing. He wanted I've to kill that man. Witnessed, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean I don't mean to get deep, but that's no, that no. shit really that shit really just happened about a week ago. That shit made me fucking mad, bro. I know, we could go, we could go. Now I'm sweating again. The hyperhydrosis is coming out of my armpits now. I'm not musty or nothing. I don't get musty. I just be getting watery. I'm moisturized. Mm. Well, leave it to the water signs to leave you on an emotional uh, <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> but that is the time that we have for the day. That shit I saw on camera crazy. was crazy. That part. <laughs> Rest in peace to Patrick Viola. That part. Let's go ahead and, and his take beautiful a shot. mother. You could Let's just take a shot for Patrick Layola and. Um, Let me fill it up for him. DJ, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. DJ that's, can't slide. That's not your fault. I'm just a little bit of an alky. <laughs> I did say I bartended in the beginning of our never. Whatever. You can't be an alcohol and drink Casamigos. Like that's definitely not an alcoholic trait. This is you gotta a, drink I some uh, Amsterdam bottle. Night train. Whatever. Uh, Remember uh, that Absol night train? Absol or or no? What is it called? What is the college drink? Night train. Taka. For a loco. Yeah. I remember I used to work at Bank of America. I had a bad day. I, I went back to my, I, I guzzled out a whole big ass can of For Loco. This is before they took that shit off the fucking shelf. Went back to Bank of America, was answering calls in my people call office. They ended up firing me. That's but why you're my uh, twin, girl. It they knew was, I was famous. Buzz boss for me. Oh yeah, I used to like the Coco Choco, the Coco. Until they said it's gonna kill me, but uh. No, yeah, no, we, no, see now we, now, now we, we, we grown, we grown, grown. We, we drink that, we drink that good alcohol. Um, now we don't drink no more night train, baby. I do drink Carlos Rossi so once in a while or whatever, whatever, but. Mm -mm. You don't like Carlos Rossi? That was college. <laughs> oh, Carlos Rossi? I, look, I'm, I didn't know it was a drink called I'm still Rossi. I'm Carlos Rossi. My mama named Roxy. <laughs> no, not Roxy, Carlos Rossi. Rossi, right. I, that's like how, Rasta that's Fata, how I baby. remembered. Okay, let's go. Oh, you already, did you? Yeah, I kind of Are you taking the whole thing it. or are you sipping it? She's like, I'm just gonna We can go all the way because. She's like, first of all, you really are alcoholic. You got it? No. Okay. Let's if you stop. got the whole, the whole shot, I got the half. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. That was crazy. I'm just <laughs>